He's going to feature this image of Barack the Savior um, at his art gallery. You see clearly Barack Hussein surrounded by his stars, uh, crowned by the thorns, making the gesture of Christ on the cross. And so he definitely is, to in some people's eyes, the Savior. Uh, here is Newsweek magazine featuring Barack Hussein. Let me get rid of the, um, the upper and lower graphics here so you can see all of it. This is where uh, Newsweek reported that President Barack Hussein uh, was uh, America's first gay president. It kind of makes you wonder, do they know something that apparently only Reverend Wright knows? That goes back to a story that uh, came out a few weeks ago Reverend in, in uh, Obama's church in Chicago, Reverend Wright. Apparently there is a very steamy underground of uh, gay men who are posing as happily married Christian men, and yet they go to uh, Reverend Wright's church and they hook up uh, in private and in secret, and there was an insinuation that Barack Hussein was part of that. I don't know that it was true. I've never been in the room with him, so I don't know if it's true or not. And then here is the story. We're moving right along, but let me get a let me get a swig here. Here is a news article. I have a video clip to show you. It's and I'm going to warn you right now. It's just it's uh, it's kind of graphic, and I'm not I'm not saying that uh, comically either. Um, it is uh, a a. a some kind of festival holiday in among Muslims called Ashura or Shura or something like that. And I had to look up a little bit about it, and I'm going to show you the video clip here in a little bit. We're going to talk about um, Muslims. Uh, and here is an article. This uh, was in NTEB News Desk. I'm not too familiar with it, but Michelle down in Houston sends me articles from there all the time. And this one says the current political winds in Washington, D.C. have dictated that less will be spent on the various branches of the armed forces of the United States. The title of the article is Obama fires 20,000 Marines and promises billions to Muslim green groups. The commander in chief has decided to fire 20,000 of our uh, of our U.S. troops in an article published uh, uh, 20,000 U.S. Marines in an article published by San Diego California's North County California's North County Times ironically on Thanksgiving Day military affairs reporter Gretel C. Kovach cites the Corps is shrinking by 20,000 Marines the North County also cited the America's premier fighting force is quote scraping to repair or replace battle worn equipment in spite of the Nobel Peace Prize award-winning Obama, ordered a recent surge in combat troops the, in um, the Afghanistan, Afghanistan theater of war, Kovach also pointed out that America's beloved Marine Corps is still being slashed by roughly 20%, despite no sign of an enemy collapse. So what will the taxpayers' money be spent on? Earlier this week, Breitbart. You know, Andrew Breitbart, the guy that had this explosive information on Barack Hussein and died. And then they come out with this stupid little story and everybody went. Well, that wasn't nothing. Kind of makes you wonder. Earlier this week, Breitbart.com recovered, recovered the recent agreement Barack Obama has promised billions of Yankee dollars to the oil-rich and overwhelmingly Muslim nations of Indonesia and Brunei. As reported, $6 billion worth of American taxes has been promised to the two neighboring nations to promote. Are you, get this now. Indonesia and Brunei, $6 billion to promote green energy. Many green energy companies in the United States, such as Solyndra and About Solar, have been dismal failures despite the over $1.2 trillion infusion of tax dollars from the Obama administration 
And that is from the examiner. Barack Hussein, there is no doubt in my mind and everybody else's mind. Unless you're from Chicago, New York City, et al., San Francisco, Los Angeles, and, and other places. That he favors Muslim interest over the interest of his own people. Something's not right. Something is dead wrong with this. Um, somebody sent me this. Where did this originally come from? James sent, sent this. Gary sent it to me. And it says, uh, how quick we... It's, it's one of those emails that gets passed around. I usually don't read a lot of them because some of them are hokey and made up. Uh, but this one, I, I like this one. A lot of Americans have become insulted from reality that they imagine that Americans can suffer defeat without any inconvenience to themselves. These events are actual events from hi history. This is what really happened. Do you remember? 1968, Bobby Kennedy was shot and killed by a Muslim man. 1972, the Munich Olympics, athletes were kidnapped and massacred by Muslim men. 1972, a Pan Am 747 was hijacked and eventually diverted to Cairo where a fuse was lit on final approach and it was blown up shortly after landing by Muslim males. 1973, a Pan Am 707 was destroyed in Rome with 33 people killed. Hmm. When it was attacked with grenades by Muslim men. 1979, the U.S. Embassy in Iran was taken over by Muslim men. 1979, uh, I already read that. In the 1980s, a number of Americans were kidnapped in Lebanon by Republicans. No. Muslim men. 1981, Pope John Paul II was shot by a King James only advocate. No! Was shot by a Muslim man. Mis miraculously, because of the Virgin Mary, the Pope survived. That's what the Pope said. Pope John Paul II said that he was alive because of the grace of Mary giving him life when he should have died. That is the same guy that Jack Van Impey said was one of the greatest Christian men alive on planet Earth. That's what Jack Van Impey said. That's, I quit watching him. When, when he said that, I went, no, nah, I'm done. I'm out of here. See ya, Jack. And if you don't know that, you don't know Jack, all right? Uh, 1983, both the U.S. Embassy and the U.S. Marine Barracks in Beirut were blown up by... Southern Baptists, no, Muslim men. 1985, the cruise ship Achille Lauro was hijacked, and a 70-year-old American passenger was murdered and thrown overboard in his wheelchair by um, wheelchair-born uh, old ladies who are above the age of 80 years old. No, that's not who did it, Muslim men. 1985, TWA Flight 847 was hijacked at Athens. And a U.S. Navy diver trying to rescue passengers was murdered by members of the conservative press. No, Muslim men. 1988, Pan Am Flight 103 was bombed by Muslim men. 1993, the World Trade Center was bombed the first time by Timothy McVeigh. No, by Muslim men. 1998, the U.S. embassies in Kenya and Tanzania were bombed by Muslim men. 9-11-01, four airliners were hijacked, two were used as missiles to take down the World Trade Centers, and the remaining two, one crashed in the U.S. Pentagon, the other was diverted and crashed by the passengers. Thousands of people were killed by George Bush. No, Muslim men. 2002, the United States fought a war in Afghanistan against Muslim men. 2002, reporter Daniel Pearl was kidnapped and beheaded by... King James only advocates, right? No. Nope. Muslim men. This is what Muslim men... I, I, I don't know if you could call them Muslim rednecks. This is... Uh, now, I'm just going to tell you, this video, I, I'm being serious. I know it's hard to know the difference, right? This, uh, this video is... Uh, it's pretty... Um, uh, well... I, I, I don't want to tell you, well, you'll see when you see it, because you may not want to watch it, okay? It's not like guts flying out of people or anything like that. These are Muslim men flagellating themselves. If you don't know what that is, they have very, very sharp cords, 
sometimes I've seen pictures where they'd use knives and cut their heads open with it. Um, it's supposedly related to the very sacred and holy day when the grandson of Muhammad was was assassinated. Big deal. So Muslim men all over the world uh, blow up planes, kill old people, and they do this on Ashra. This was actually, uh, somebody sent this to me because this is actually video from a mosque in the St. Louis area. This is what they do. In case you were wondering, they were not singing Amazing Grace, How Sweet the Sound. Um, and when I watch this, here's what really jumped out at, at the Hogman here, um, was I've seen this before, not really with mine eyes, but I've seen this kind of religious practice before. This is usually related to a purification of some kind. Oh, I'm unclean. I'm filthy. I'm, I'm impure. And so there, uh, Islam is not the only one. In fact, this kind of activity is more prominently known in Roman Catholic circles, monasteries, convents, holy men, the holy priests, of Roman Catholicism and the monks who are so holy. This is what they do. This is why, in many cases, they have to be cloistered. They have to be separated out because everybody doesn't need to see what they really do inside of this. By the way, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to encourage you to do this. There is an audio recording of a woman by the name of Sister Charlotte. Uh, that's all we know her by. Um, her testimony, I believe it. I buy it. I, th I think she's telling the truth. Uh, this woman went around the country telling everybody she used to be a, a cloistered nun in a convent. And they took these young girls in their teens and basically trained them and, and beat them into submission. Taught them that they were the bride of Christ and filled their heads so much with the, the fact that they were the bride of Christ. And then one day they would be introduced as these monks and priests came walking in the door and they would say, that's Christ there. And you can fill in the rest of the details because that's exactly what happened. She escaped. Um, I think she broke her arm in the process trying to escape. Um, and uh, she went around the country telling her testimony. She got saved, was born again, and knew the freedom in Jesus Christ and realized that she didn't have to do that stuff in order to go to heaven. And uh, then all of a sudden, she just wasn't there one day. Nobody knows what happened to her. Sister Charlotte, you can look that up. I'm sure it's on YouTube and other places. You can go to Google and type it in, but then Google will know what you typed in. So go to Xquick Search or whatever. There's a bunch of others. And I appreciate people sending me. Uh, there's several different places on the Internet where you can do a secure search. In other words, Google won't know about it. But, of course the National Insecurity Administration will, in fact, know about it. Um, flagellation. What is that all about? And I, when, as I was watching this and I'm thinking about flagellation, I remembered a uh, verse of Scripture in the Bible that actually tells us that we're supposed to be...